What's up guys, uh, Caleb Nance here. Um, wanted to do a new tutorial on how to add, uh, I guess, your own music to your Joomla site. Uh, I showed you how to do that with uh, GrooveShark and someone asked uh, how they would do it, I guess, if you know you used a, a Joomla Works plugin. Um, I looked at it a while back and wasn't really impressed with it, but they've done a lot of uh, additions to it. I'll, I'll put the link in the sidebar uh, for this uh, site. Um, they've got a lot of cool stuff. I'm actually using K2 right now for a site that uh, that I'm coming up with um, that's in the works. But um, you can come here, download it right here, and save it to your desktop. And then also the documentation, I'll have this link there, but I'll, I'll run through it. But if you have any more questions, you can just uh, revert back to this uh, document, uh, documentation page and um, all your answers will be, uh, should be answered on that page. Um, right now, you know, you go log in and then we'll go to extensions, install. And then I'm going to browse to where I downloaded it. Um, and then just hit install and it works. A um, couple things you have to do to get the plugin to work. You have to, first of all, enable it. So we're going to go do that. So now that it's installed, you should get this on your page right here. Um, and then we go to install plugin manager. And then you'll see all videos in your plugins. We're gonna go ahead and click enable. Then we're gonna go inside of it, and I'll show you a couple things you have to set. I'm sorry, a couple things you gotta set up um, for that to work. Um, if you have videos, you need to set up a video stories or image stories, and then videos, and then a couple. Uh, you know, you can read what they do. Um, if you want the width and height to be of the videos you can set it and all that works um, also if you want audio which I'm going to show you right now um, you have to set up a folder in images stories and then name that folder audio if you don't have one in there already or you can just change the path altogether um, basically you know if, if you set this right here um, that's going to be the root right there so if you have audio in your root um, of your of your file structure, then it'll it'll go to that that one folder right there. But right now I have it set up as their default um, images, stories, audio. So take all the confusion out of it. Um, this also has the width and um, the height of of the player. Uh, we'll come back to this whenever I show you how it looks on the front end. Um, but also again to set up that folder you can't really use um, this file structure to upload an audio file um, you'll have to do either FTP or I think that's that's about it that's all you can do with uh, with Joomla um, uh, uploads of mp3s and I think videos too I don't think they support that um, you might can go to uh, let's see. Systems. Yeah, you can just add it to this. I didn't even think about that. You can add it to this right here. These are acceptable, uh, uh, I guess, extensions of files. So if you do that right there, that should work. I'm not saying it does because I haven't tried it, but it did just come to mind. Um, that should let you uh, upload. Uh, I guess mp3s or whatever file extension you want just make sure you put the extension uh, in that site configuration but anyways back to what we were doing I have a a test one right here um, in the one page this is all you have to do to um, have that mp3 show up uh, we got it enabled and uh, I have mp3 no love and uh, then the the closing uh, bracket um, and to show you that in there 
so let's say this is your file structure. We're going to go to images and then stories. Then I made a file um, or a folder uh, audio just like the path I showed you with the plugin. And then I put in two of my uh, songs that I wanted and then set that right here of the file that I wanted to play. Alright, so we're going to apply it, keep it there just to make sure it works, and then refresh, and there it is. Alright, so that, that works. Um, you can also click the download, and you can download the file. Um, a couple different things I wanted to show you. Make sure, I, I know I, I realized um, that No Love had a space in it. It's not going to work if you don't put a space in it. So make sure you have either no spaces or underscores, anything like that. Make sure everything is completely, you know, the same through and through. Um, we're going to do this. And we'll do shelter. And put another space in there. So or I'll show you that it doesn't work. Um, so that has no space in it and it shouldn't work and it doesn't so if you get this it means something's wrong uh, right now I know what what's wrong is because the path isn't right basically because it doesn't have a space in it so make sure uh, you know everything in between these two tags uh, are exactly how your file is named and you don't need the extension .php because the tags you know they take care of that but then shelter should work, so let's refresh it now that I have it, so it works. And then shelter works too. I wanted to put two on there because, like I said, I would get back to the uh, plugins, uh, all videos plugin. One thing you can do is have autoplay. Autoplay is basically as soon as on load uh, of your page, it'll start playing. So let's show you what not to do with autoplay. So we'll place both on. All right, you don't want that. Uh, make sure if autoplay is on, uh, there's only one song or video playing at once on that one page. Um, there's only one showing on that one page. Uh, also, you can disable the download link or disable the embed uh, box. And I want to keep the download link on there and turn off autoplay and embed. So now it should just have, yeah, just the download. And the embed link is basically letting others take that uh, off your site and put it on their site, which is good, um, but it'll use a lot of bandwidth. So I would probably take the uh, embed off. Um, also, it shows you how to pull from other sites so if you have the direct path of the video you want to play or anything you can put that in between those tags uh, let's say you know the the direct path of a of an mp3 that you want to play you can pull it off somebody else's server and it'll work fine I think that is it um, everything back here kinda self-explanatory but make sure three big things um, the file uh, path is right and then also the plugin is actually enabled and then that this name is exactly how your file is named uh, I hope that helped have any questions or comments maybe you want uh, more extensive uh, direction just let me know and I will do it. I hope you all have a good day and thank you.